Hey, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to The Don Show. We are episode three and let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we really get into the flow of things, I just want to say thank y'all so much for showing love. Uh, I'm in now at 255 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I just appreciate that. You know what I mean? Hey, you got to start somewhere. So all the 255 subscribers, thank y'all so much. Continue to like, comment, share, send me feedback. I am reading it. I'm paying attention. Thank y'all so much for the love. But Let's go ahead and get started. And also, before we get started, I just want to let y'all know there are special updates coming to the Don Show every single week. So you most likely might be getting more episodes from me every single week. So just keep an eye on that and I will let y'all know. Or I'm just going to drop the video and you sit back and enjoy it. But make sure you're subscribed, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're commenting, liking, sharing, because I'm definitely gonna be dropping some more content for y'all. I got y'all, don't worry, I got y'all. I am still here. All right, so let's get into our first topic. So the dancer of the week that I have chose, that I wanna show love to, is a hip hop, hip hop head. You can see the house in them, you can see it. But this, this dancer right here, we're gonna give love to Icy. I see I've been a fan of about, I'd say about four to five years. I had found him on YouTube on a random. I was just uh, watching hip hop history, looking up hip hop culture. I was looking up battles, uh, open style battles, and it was this cat just named Icy. So boom, I jump on there and I'm watching it and his flow was just ridiculous. He was just crazy with it. And I was just like, yo, who is this? And the next thing you know, I just started digging. I started finding all his battles. I started looking up his history and this this dancer is crazy. He's a hip hop head to the fullest, the way he moves, the way he grooves, his bounce, his flow. I'm a big fan of it. It's like just the way he have his flow when he's dancing, like you can, he breaking the beat down and he just like, once again, if you don't know, I love dancers that really get into the music, that really don't let nobody rush them through the flow of the music to make sure you not only appreciate the battle, and the, the moment but also you appreciate the music at the same time because what you're listening to and what you're watching needs to some have a, a connection so when i seen that i was just like yo i'm a fan of him and ever since then i've just been watching his stuff and and i know one day one of my goals is to be able to be at a tournament either i get a chance to battle him or i just get a chance to witness his greatness but shout out to icy probably see his video playing right now when you get a chance to you already know what i do link is in the description take the time out to watch and enjoy give him some feedback show him some love you know how we do on the show we show love so that's what we on all right so shout out to icy crazy with the hip-hop now, before I move on and talk about the next dancer on this quick review, um, I'm just gonna let y'all know this right now. So check this out. Starting next week, I am actually going to be doing dance reactions to dope performances, dope battles, dope showcases. I'm just gonna just sit back and just give my reaction and give y'all my review of how I feel about them. Like I'm just all about just showing love to dancers out here in this world. So it's a lot of people out here in the arts community that I enjoy watching, even from my hometown and even from around the world. So I'm going to be doing these every single week. So you got to make sure that you comment, give me your feedback. Let me see what you think. I want to see what your philosophy is when it comes to dancing. Let's let's go ahead and trade and share and let's see what you're thinking, because I'm going to be doing reactions to a lot of different dance styles, a lot of different history about the arts and the music and the connection of it. So but please realize there are certain videos I cannot put on here because of copyrights and I do not want to hurt my uh, show. So please respect that. So if you like, man, I'm not hearing the music that sucks. Hey, it's only because of the fact that the music got copyright stuff on there and I don't want that problem. I don't want them taking down the show. You know how that goes. You see how I run with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. So the dancer I want to show love to next is Sarah Bidot. She is a house dancer that I have witnessed um, about, I want to say two years ago, two years ago, just on just on the dance tip, watching videos. I love watching battles. I love watching people from around the world. And boom, she popped up on a battle and the flow, the musicality, the patterns, the timing was amazing for me to watch. Um, just to see somebody appreciate the music and appreciate her moments, to see how she digs deeper into the movement was incredible to me. When I watch battles, 
when I watch performances, I honestly try to watch everything that's happening in that moment. Like I'm listening to the music and I'm seeing how you respond to it and I'm seeing your battle tactics or even if you're performing, I'm seeing how you bring in the community watching you because you have the cameras going and then you have an audience right in front of you. So I'm really trying to see all of that and how are you responding? And the way she responds every time she battles, you can see it's really just her and her moment and she just zoned out. She goes to this 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 zone that you just witness and you just like that, like, yo, it's beautiful. At the same time, she's whooping you in the battle. The same time it's beautiful to watch. And I think that's one thing I love about house, the house music and the whole house dance culture is that when you hear the music, it just makes you want to get a flow. And then from there, you see the battle or you see the person ciphering, you see them getting down and it's like, everything is just connected right. And it's like, when you watch dancers do that in the middle of the moment, it's like, wow, it's incredible. So when you see a dancer, when you see that creator get connected to the music and the flow is just right, it's like they can't do no wrong. You know, and I think that that's for every dance style that I witnessed, but Sarah definitely has that. I have seen her judge battles. I have seen her tournaments. I just seen her do exhibitions and it's like, I don't think there's not how one time I have ever watched and I was just like, oh yeah, she wasn't in there. But every time I have witnessed her get down, she was in her bag. So, Sarah, one day in lifetime, you're gonna see this video. I'm just showing you love. Shout out to you, keep doing great things. We see you out here. Peace to you. Now, don't forget, I'm gonna be doing a full out dance reaction. So the dancers that I'm talking about, don't worry, starting next week, I am gonna be showing love to them with a full reaction of highlights of their dance videos. So don't even worry, you're about to see me really react. You're really gonna see me get into depth and just see my reaction to these videos that I love watching. So don't worry about it, I got you. So I know you like Don, go deeper, hold on. I'm gonna go deeper, they're on the way. But <clears throat> make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and share to everybody, okay? Thank you, as my voice keep going in and out. <laughs> All right, so you know what time it is. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. We got to talk the game world, the game in town. You know what we do. We got to talk games. Listen, check this out. All right, now, this one has popped up. Now, I don't know if you ever played this game or not, but I haven't. But lately, I've just been kind of been scooping on it, checking it out, and I just kind of want to get y'all thoughts about, you know, how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see how you feel. So I want to ask y'all, what are your thoughts on the official Cyberpunk 2077 okay so i just want to know what your thoughts are because i just seen the gameplay hey you know what um cyberpunk i might have to holler at you i might have to holler at this game so but i've been noticing though this game has been getting a lot of delays um if you if you're a big fan of this you probably already know this already but i've been noticing they've been keep delaying it they kept moving it back and you know due to the pandemic when dealing with your creators or directors of these games and these movies and shows a lot of stuff is getting more delayed so it's kind of getting harder for games to come out right away so it's a lot of install updates is happening um if you have a playstation or you have an xbox you already know what i'm talking about even on pc you see a lot of updates and installment that's going on to fix some of these bugs and you know the one thing that i had pete was the fact that cyberpunk was basically just having continuous delays that you kept seeing so i remember i think maybe in the summertime i saw something talk about cyberpunk was coming out and then they delayed it again but they came out with a gameplay trailer and it was pretty good to me so i would say this make sure you check out the gameplay and let me know your thoughts and you know if that's the type of game you play uh tell me how it is okay so if you get the game before me and if i don't get a chance to play and you do let me know what your thoughts i just want to kind of see you know like how is it playing that game and i might just try it i don't know yet i'm thinking about it really not too sure but we'll see now hold on wait a second before we go into the shoes right hold on before we do that did y'all know december 25th wonder woman is coming out but not only in theaters but i believe I'm, if i'm correct it's gonna be on hbo max so if you stay at home to be safe i truly understand you see where i'm at right now i'm at home being safe let me ask you this how many of y'all is a fan of dc i know we got a lot of dc moral people out here now are you like yo i just rock with both or are you really hardcore dc hardcore marvel because i'm not gonna lie to you Wonder Woman movies is holding it down right now. Like, I, I bang with the Wonder Woman movies. I really want them to really go in depth of her history. Like, people, like, just don't know. Like, she actually got family. Like, I don't know in the rebirth they changed that. But I really want to see how 
deep they go with the Wonder Woman movies because she has a lot of history. There's a lot of dope stories in the comic books that they can really put out on the uh, on the movie side. Now on the cartoon side, they could have really did something with her, but they really didn't. I mean, they did a couple of things with Justice League. Like if you're a fan of Justice League um, shows back then, the early 2000s, they was crazy. That's when Batman, Superman, all of them had dope shows on the WB, uh, CW, it was crazy. But Wonder Woman actually has a good story. She got a couple good solid cartoon movies. So don't, don't be a hater. Before you judge, go watch the movies. Let me know your thoughts. But I'm actually looking forward to watching this Wonder Woman movie. Shout out to the writers and directors because they're actually doing a decent job over there. So she's holding it down right now for DC. Like I ain't got nothing against the other movies. I'm waiting on the Snyder Cut. But I think this Wonder Woman movie is actually going to do pretty good. Like I've seen a couple of uh, trailers here and there. Little teasers didn't add a delay due to the pandemic. But I really think this Wonder Woman movie is going to do really, really good. So let's find out and let me know your thoughts when you watch it because I will be watching it as well. Oh yes. All right, so check this out. So the shoe of the week for me is going to be the Nike Kobe 5's Pro Tro with the Bruce Lee color scheme. I want to save my little uh, money up and I'm going to try to get these shoes, but I just want to know what your thoughts are. I think these shoes are dope because it's representing two legends that we lost, okay? Um, we lost Kobe and we lost Bruce Lee. Um, if you don't know who Bruce Lee is, don't even trip, I'm not here to judge you. But if you want to and you love martial arts movies, check them out, type in Bruce Lee, okay? Check him out, dope legend, dope philosopher. I, I definitely think you will enjoy him. Um, I love his character, you know, the whole, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that, yeah, that's Bruce Lee all day. And the legend himself, Kobe Bryant, who we lost not too long ago. So respect to both of their families. Definitely think that uh, I'm gonna get this shoe, I love it. So if you wanna know what the shoe looks like, this whole time I've been talking, I had the shoe right here on the side. So if you've been looking away from the, from the video because you're washing dishes, Look back to the TV real quick or your phone and you see these Nikes that they're coming out with with these Kobe's. But shout out to Nike for dropping this. I'm definitely going to get this shoe. Respect to the legends. Thank you for what you've done here on Earth. We love you always. All right, so you know I got to give y'all some little week, right? I got I to gotta let y'all know what I'll be listening to. Like, I don't... Listen, any song that I choose, I am not choosing a song just because I just ramble real quick. No, these are songs that are on my Apple playlist that I'll be bumping, that I dance to, that I vibe out to, that I just chill to during this time pandemic to keep me calm and relaxed. These are the tracks that I listen to. So I hope you like this music. Now, this song is by my bro, the homie, the fam, Duran Bernard. You can find him on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, anywhere, Google him. He has a song called Melody off his album that dropped this year. But check out the song Melody. Tell me what you think. I would love to play it on here, but I don't want no issues with copyright infringement. So we just gonna make sure we put the links in the description. Deal? Bet. Now, before you leave about it here, before you turn this off and go ahead about your day, number one, thank you for taking the time out to watch my show. I thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. I'm at 255 subscribers. So please continue to like, subscribe, share, and I'm gonna keep dropping more content. I am on my way to get a thousand subscribers and I'm striving and I want y'all with me on this journey. That is my favorite word. Y'all know that journey is my favorite word. So um, check this out. I'm going to be adding more content to this page. So you're going to begin a little bit more from the Don show. You also want to get a little bit more from me from the vlogs. You're going to get a little more from me from the dance side. So more is on the way. But if you want to support this page, all I ask you to do is go into my captions and you will see that I have a Patreon. You can sign up to my Patreon and get exclusive content from me. You can get one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. You can see exclusive stuff that I have not dropped yet. I'll be sharing my thoughts on there, just kind of just sharing how I'm thinking, what I'm visualizing, what I'm preparing to do. You get to see that stuff first. So if you would like to support this page, please go over to Patreon. And if you want to do more than just Patreon, email me and let me know. But make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share to the world. Thank y'all so much for showing me love. I appreciate you so much. Continue to eat right, eat good, eat smart. Take care of your mind, body, and spirit. And I will see y'all next week. Peace. You like my little dance? <laughs>